Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my Stampin' Studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how to make this super pretty but really simple card that I think is just adorable. Let's get started right away. So the focal point for this card is this adorable lion, which I got from the A Little Wild stamp set. Now we're also using the dies that come with it that's called the Little Love Framelits. These are a bundle in the big catalog. You can save 10% when you buy them together. We're going to use the Lion and we're going to use the Wild About You Sentiment. Now, you notice that these stamps have the two animals together on one stamp. That's because this set can be used to make gift tags, which is super cool. So when you die cut these pieces, you'll be able to fold, sorry, it goes like this, you'll be able to fold that in half and have a gift tag that you could write on the inside of for a gift for somebody. We're actually going to use only part of the lion today for the front of our card. Now I've just got a scrap of Whisper White here. It doesn't really matter how big, you really just need it big enough for you to stamp this lion and get him colored because we're going to die uh, cut him out once we're done. So I'm stamping my lion in Memento ink. And now we're going to use our Stampin' Blends to color him in. I'm using four blends for this project. We've got Dark and Light Crumb Cake. I'm using Dark Daffodil Delight and we'll use just a touch of Dark Pumpkin Pie. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do with my broad tip here is come in and color my lion. Be careful not to color in his nose. Now these blends are alcohol markers, so they dry really quickly and they're great for layering multiple colors on top of each other and blending them for shading. And when you've got some tiny spaces that you need to color, you can use the fine tip end of this. All right, we've got a good base here. Now I'm going to color in his nose with my dark crumb cake. And I'm also gonna use the dark crumb cake to just outline a few of the areas on his body in the base of his tail. Next I'm going to come in with my dark daffodil delight and when I think of lions I always think of them as gold and orange hues and so I knew I had to incorporate some sort of goldish yellow here and I'm going to come in, I'm going to bring this closer, I'm coming right on the outside edge of the first layer of his mane and I'm outlining all of those curved edges. Going around the ear, just on the outside. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to outline the outside of his face here. I'm going to add some yellow on his tail at the base of his tail and I'm going to outline some as well on his body. 
so that we carry the yellow over. Now on the body, I want this yellow a little bit more subtle. And so I'm gonna come in here with my, make sure I have the right one, light crumb cake. And I'm just gonna blend that a bit more so that we have just a hint of yellow. Also for the dark, I wanna just do the inside of his ears. I'll come back in with my yellow, my Daffodil Delight. And I still felt like something was missing a little bit, just a pop of color. So I came in with my dark pumpkin pie and I did a light line on his nose and the inside of his ears, which I came back in and softened up with my light crumb cake over the top. And it added just the pop of color. Now, I'm going to go to my Big Shot here and cut out just the part of the lion that I colored. So we're gonna line this up on my magnetic plate. I'm cutting it out over here in my big shot. All right, so now we've got this extra piece and we're gonna take our paper snips and we're just going to follow the curves of his mane and just trim off this extra piece. And now he's ready to be mounted onto our card. Okay. Now for the splash of color behind our lion, I use the Brusho Crystal Color. I'm using a piece of shimmery white cardstock. This piece is, let's see, the layer it sits on is five and a quarter by four. So this piece is one eighth of an inch smaller. So we're three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And I will have all of these dimensions up on my blog. Now to use the brush -o, what I did was I spritzed my piece ahead of time. I came in with my yellow and I just sprinkled over the top. I wanted it to blend a bit more, so I came in and sprayed one more time after that was finished. And now we're gonna dry this quick. You notice I was drying off the using my heat tool on the back side of the card that was to help reduce some of this bending of my card layer now when I use the brush oh I like to just brush any extra crystals off of the card once I'm done okay now I set my brush oh aside because we're done with that for now we've got our sentiment tag 
And I'm going to emboss that in white embossing powder before I stamp it. I'm going to get this all ready here. So let's get my white. I'm going to come through first with my embossing buddy because I do not want that embossing powder anywhere but on the words and this embossing buddy I'm telling you it's worth its weight in gold okay so get this ready to go I'm stamping wild about you on here I actually did a little bit of what I call stampin' surgery because this Wild About You is actually, I'm going to show it to you here. It's actually on top of each other and I wanted it to go across so I just cut the U off of the bottom and then I can place it next to the other words on my stamp set. Okay, we're done with our embossing powder. So let me get that out of the way for you. And now we're ready to set it. I like to come in with my heat tool from the bottom so that the uh, blowing air doesn't blow all my embossing powder away. Okay, so now we're ready to get mounting our layers here. I'm going to glue this card front to my Daffodil Delight layer. I'm going to get this good and glued up because I don't want any of that curvature on this layer when my card is complete. And because I'm using the liquid glue, once I have this layer set down, I can easily move it around where I need to, get it set in place, and then get it glued down. All right. Now for my Wild About You, I'm going to cut this off at an angle, and we're going to have our lion in here. Now for a little bit more jungle dimension here, I'm using my leaf punch, and I am just going to stamp out a couple leaves or punch out a couple leaves in vellum. Now one of them I'm going to want behind my lion and so that that stays in place where I want him, I'm just going to tape it down to the back of my lion. I think we're going to need to cut this off but a little long. There we go. And then the other leaf, I'm going to want on the card. So once I place the lion where I think I'm going to want him, I'm going to remember the placement of this leaf. And I'm going to come in here. Oops, I got a little bit big of a piece. 
going to come in here and just tape this down as well. And you're not gonna see the tape because we're gonna mount this line with a dimensional on top of it. Okay, we're gonna want our sentiment out here like so. And we're gonna line up the edge of this with this edge of the leaf. So I will come in here with my snail adhesive and I will get this nice and straight along the bottom edge of my layer. Okay, and then we are going to add here our lion to the front of the card, pop him up on a couple dimensionals. Like this. And then all that's left is for us to mount this to our card base and add just a touch of bling. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we are going to mount this on our card base. This is a crumb cake card base. Cut five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. And then to add a little sparkle and another pop of color, I want to bring in these uh, colored dots. These are from the big catalog. I'm sorry, I do not remember what they're called right now. Bringing in the yellows, pop those in place. Our lion is a little bit crooked. There we go. And there you have it. Pretty cute, huh? Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. I really appreciate uh, that uh, you let me inspire you. I just love that. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can always get more inspiration from me on my blog. So that's countrycardsbyrose.com. Also on my Facebook page, you'll search for Country Cards by Rose. And if you order from me, I'll invite you to my private VIP group where I show you even more ideas that you won't find on my blog and Stampin' Tutorials. And so watch for an invite from me if you place an order with me. Thanks so much again for joining me and have a great day.